instead of the God who created it? How can you wake up each morning and see that sun beaming on those summer days? Or how about those winter nights when the moon is gleaming and the wind kisses your cheeks? Did I mention the oceans that go deeper than we can imagine or think? Waves that can reach over 100 feet tall. Tiny grains of sand that can't be counted individually. Green grass that helps improve our air quality. Blue skies with clouds that change the shapes throughout the day. And you have the audacity to say thank you to the universe. Can I ask you a question? Who is responsible for the air in your lungs, the pigment of your skin tone, the color of your eyes, the reason the human skeleton has 206 bones? Could you explain the nervous system and how it can control your movements and it originates from your brain? What about the 30 trillion cells running through your body as I speak? And you praise the universe for these undeniable blessings that didn't just appear out of nowhere. Even scientists can admit that. But you love to give credit to the creation instead of the creator. Call me what you want, but the analogy of just appearing into this world without a maker isn't a hypothesis that seems wise. That's like saying a picture of a painting exists without the artist. There was indeed a creator. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever you have formed the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You are timeless. You are holy. You are omnipresent. You are uncomparable. You are alpha and omega. I can't make you believe but the evidence is right before your eyes, no fiction or make-believe. Even Apostle Paul, who was the greatest skeptic of them all, said in Romans 1.20, for his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, has been clearly perceived since the creation of the world and the things that have been made. So they are without excuse. So when I hear people thank the universe I say a prayer for them because the main ones who've been saying they are woke have been sleeping in darkness I say this with love to my brothers and my sisters wake up come out of that spiritual blindness and walk into the light of Jesus that is forever Shining.